Ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to the Solo Mid 1 vs. 1 competition. Today, we have one of the best 1 vs. 1s out there, the odd one, going to be playing Miss Fortune, and we have the competitor, Thagels, here, going to be playing Malphite here in the Solo Mid 1 vs. 1 competition. It's kind of weird, both Reginald and I picked Annie. That was uh, good, tele good telepathy there, dude. I like it a lot. But now, these two players are going to go head-to-head, -head, and we do have... Uh, misfortune up against a Malphite. So Misfortune there with the Flash and the Ignite. Uh, interesting pickup, but at this point, I mean, it looks like she's going to go really offensive here against Malphite. Malphite Ghost and... Uh, I think I miss. I, th I was about to call it clairvoyance. Nope, it's clarity. So Malphite really want to keep keeps himself there, all manned up. Doesn't really want to leave the lane because we are running those special modified solo mid dot net uh, solo rules. So I'm just going to be staying off in the corner here and letting the two teammates go out. You guys are going to be seeing Reginald's point of view, and he will be following Odd One. I'm over here with Thago S. And uh, right now Malphite, he's picked himself up a cloth armor, five health potions so a typical jungling build but he is probably going to go straight to that mid considering you know that is the, the rule set here and he's going to come all the way up to the tower now malphite versus misfortune first thing off the bat that strikes me is of course misfortune ranged has a double up skill so even if you're hiding behind those creeps uh, she still has ways of hitting you th uh, but malphite very defensive kind of champion very tanky has of course his passive of doo -doo -doo, granite shield and apparently the stream isn't loading, so I don't know what you want to do about that, Reginald. But I will just leave it to you. I do got the YouTube fraps going on here. So the Granite Shield on Malphite should be extending his hit points a little bit. I'm going to take a quick look at his stats. He has an extra 14 Magic Resist, as well as an extra 30 Armor. 18 of that was... Uh, from the cloth armor. So he has plus 12 armor there and uh, 319 movement speed. He has plus 9 movement speed. So likely those are his quints. I'm not, I'm pretty sure those are going to be his quints. Attack speed also modified a little bit and he has one ability power. Likely it's coming from the offensive mastery Z zero for the extra auto attack. So good fun stuff. Shady. Good times. Now, yeah, it is the stream is on a delay, guys. Don't worry. Whatever we said, not going to get ghosted. Now that you can really ghost in this uh, one versus one. Anyways, it's like, hey, where, where'd they go? It's just like, well, they have to come back to the mid. So, meh, whatever. It's all good. It's all right. We do have the minions now coming out. Thago is just going to be here in the mid. So he's not going to run off, grab himself a lizard. He's not going to go off and get, grab any kind of creeps. We did see in the last one versus one tournament a jungle mundo build where he immediately went for the red buff and then came in with the red buff and ghost and the cleavers, you know, trying to get a quick first blood. Not going to happen. This time, odd one coming out of the bushes, kind of catching Malphite a little bit off guard. And the same idea here with Misfortune. She also has that cloth armor using health potions or ready and this is going to be I uh, really have to wonder what Thago wants to do in this matchup because again he the first thing that struck me is he is melee and he can throw a boulder sure fine but that's about the only kind of harass he can get down here on odd one and we're probably not going to see too much of it come out until you know level six when he can charge in with that disable now odd one let's just take a quick look at her zero in the auto attack zero in the ability power a little bit on her attack speed likely coming out from her masteries again extra magic resist a lot of armor actually 58 armor she has more armor right now than malphite malphite getting brave right now he's going to come out here to the odd one uh just you know pat her on the head a little bit with those molten fists of his and she's going to have to back off both players now level two and let's just take a quick look finish up misfortune here also nine extra movement speed on her so uh, does look like very similar builds in terms of the in terms of masteries, in terms of runes, you know, we got the extra movement speed going around, extra armor, extra magic riz, and even both players with the same beginning items. So right now we do, of course, have cloth armor and health potions, as mentioned before. The health potions will be running out soon. Then it's going to really come down to see who's going to stay in the lane longer. But one thing I do notice here, creep kills, 11 creep kills here on odd one, as opposed to four on Thagel. So right now, in terms of money, uh, there will be a big, big advantage for Odd One if she ever does go back to town. Now, in terms of pushing the lane, you really only do want to go for those last hits. You don't want to push the lane too much, otherwise the tower is going to get involved, and that's a lot of free 
kind of hits that uh, the tower is going to hit onto those creeps. But some players will use it, you know, push up the creeps as much as they can to get into that tower range, and then that tower is just going to decimate the creeps and prevent the last hits. Although, as I say, that Fago gets a shot there, but the second shot from the tower on that creep, for example, you're not going to be able to get that goal. The experience is going to come no matter what. There is nobody here in this game that can deny Fago actually going on odd one a little bit, just a little again a little bit more of a harass, but it is going to be fairly limited in what he can do in that harass. One health potion left on Misfortune as opposed to the three here on Thago. So Lane dominance right now could go hand to Thago as he does have more health potions to live with. Now of course Misfortune she might be able to push up the lane, get back to town and just get back before the lane lands any kind of auto attack damage. Again another big strategy come out but she is going to be a uh, throwing down some hurt here on these towers. We throw at the boulder. If Fago's going to go in for a little bit of melee, no ground slam. Doesn't have that mana. And uh, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, he definitely has that clarity. I haven't seen it used quite yet. Better move around before the AFK message of death hits me. It's probably a good idea for you as well there, Reginald, in case you're not doing it yet. Uh, gold gain is uh, right now, let's see, 27 creeps for odd one, 6 for Thagel. So anywhere between you know, 10 and 20 gold a, a shot. Misfortune definitely doing very well landing those last hits and Fago again with that melee nature of his he just has to really stand back and uh, decide when to go in he is saving a lot of his mana and uh, his opportunities to go and land shots on the odd one as opposed to just creeping and farming but uh, not even again yeah oh he's going through around the ghost this time he is going to chase her down she is slowed right now because of that boulder flashes out so there we go all both the ghost and the flash now uh, done and out of here but Fago has effectively chased her on off. I don't see her here in the lane. Of course, I am on Fagel's team. I cannot see the misfortune, but I'm going to assume that she went back to town. Uh, hello, Caraface. Yep, I said it. Hello, Caraface. Anyway, so Thago here, he's going to try to pick up some last hits. He'll try to even out this creep score, but I have to wonder what Misfortune is going to come back with. Now, she had 31 creep kills, and all she had was that cloth armor. So, let's see. Some possibilities. Might be going for a Blood Razor, or at least... Uh, oh, there she is. So, okay. No more theater crafting. Nope, she's going to go with that Doran's. Uh, leave the cloth armor in a Boots of Speed. So, going with more auto attack. Woo! Out comes the ultimate. Just dec decimates that creep wave. And... And uh, even going to be chasing Thago off. No Ignite coming out, so she's not going to commit to it too much. And, uh, ooh, a little bit of uh, a comment there from Malphi. Just, you hurt me. Uh, throws down the boulder. Probably wasn't the best idea. And Ignite actually might have finished her off. But he does have, oh, okay, he doesn't have that health bot. He just used it now. So the Ignite probably wouldn't have done Oh, there we go. The ultimate coming down. Odd one going to be taking two tower shots to the face. Thago really did use up his... Uh, everything he could right there, but he still haven't seen him use that clarity. Uh, might be down, but if he used it, he might have had a good shot there uh, to grab a kill there on odd one. But no, tower shots go down. The tower itself, however, uh, could be a little bit healthier right now. 184 hit points, and uh, that will likely go down here in the next few minutes. Again, odd one really controlling the light. Oh, there goes the ignite and an auto attack. That's not going to be enough to kill him, I don't think, but he doesn't have any kind of potions to... to uh, you know, counter that with potions are great things to counter with the ignite simply because the damage per second is very similar to the health point per second and Thago is kind of thrown in the towel already he has his granite shield back up but uh, not too sure it's actually going to matter too much at this point. Still two health potions and the Doran's Blade here on Odd One. They're going to throw down, uh, again, a little bit of harass. She's not going to care. She's going to go for that tower. And now Thago is likely going to be following well with the first plus. So there we go. Game is done. And uh, that will be that. So, one versus one tournament uh, is odd, th odd one taking this round. And thank you, Solomid, for recording and, of course, hosting this uh, tournament. I'm the Four Court Jester. I'll be signing out.